If you love bread as much as I do, stick around and watch this video. You're gonna get a recipe for no bake bread and of course there's cheese. One of my favorite foods in the world is Indian food. It's, oh my God, it's so bold, so delicious. And it usually comes accompanied with this bread called a naan. And it's just one of those things that I always crave. And of course, now that fall is coming, you wanna, you know, you start craving all those comfort foods. And at the top of that list for me is naan. So I'm like, you know what? I just gotta learn how to make this. Like I, I have to learn how to make this. And of course it comes stuffed with cheese. You can get it in all different varieties. You can get cheese, you can get it stuffed with chilies, you can get it stuffed with garlic, you can get it stuffed with potatoes. They let their freak flag fly when it comes to naan. So I had to find out how to make this and I will tag the girl that I got this recipe from. She is so talented. Her recipes are so amazing and she makes them so, she makes it look so easy and simple. So she gave me enough nerve and confidence to make this recipe a no bake bread. Amazing. So like I said, or if I didn't, I'm gonna say it now. All instructions for the recipe, ingredients, everything will be listed down below. So like any other bake, you're going to want to keep your dry ingredients separate from your wet ingredients and then eventually combine them together in the mixer. You can absolutely do this by hand if you're very strong. You can also do this using an electric handheld mixer. I'm going to use my big boy mixer here and I'm going to be using a dough hook. Just a quick tip here, make sure you proof your yeast before you use it. You can do this 10 minutes before you start mixing all your ingredients together. You just wanna make sure that your yeast is alive and kicking. It's what gives bread that nice texture that we all know and love. So you're gonna let the dough hook go mix, mix, mix until it starts to form somewhat of a ball. But for sure, until it pulls away from the sides of the bowl, you wanna get the gluten going. So once you get that out, you're gonna put it into a nice greased bowl and you're gonna cover it with some saran wrap. Let it hang out on the counter by a windowsill, somewhere warm until it doubles in size, usually about an hour to an hour and a half. While our dough is doing its thing, we're gonna go ahead and get our cilantro garlic butter going. And we're just gonna put butter, a little bit of olive oil, and a crushed garlic cube, which I forgot to film putting it in the pan. But we're gonna get that going, get it nice and melty and hot. It's gonna smell so delicious. So here our dough has doubled in size. We're gonna go ahead and cut it into about eight even sized pieces. Depending on how big you wanna make them, you can get about seven to eight, maybe even nine. And I just wish you can feel how pillowy and puffy and just how beautiful this dough really is. It kind of reminds me of donut dough. And who doesn't love donuts? Now that our dough has been separated into about eight pieces, we're gonna roll them into nice smooth little balls. We're gonna do that by picking up each slice and just tucking all the ends under, underneath so you get a nice little smooth ball. Or you can just roll it in your hand like I just did there when I was getting tired of being cute, you know? Sometimes you gotta do it up for the camera, but I'm human too, just like you. So now it's time to stuff this with cheese. We're gonna take the ball, we're gonna make a little cup, form our hand into a little cup, and then put the dough ball there, and then you're gonna press a hole in the center. Then you're gonna get your sliced cheese. I used mozzarella in this case. And kind of like an empanada, you're gonna fold the sides together, pinch it, and then you're gonna wanna roll those pinched sides inward and then roll it again. You just wanna do everything in your power to make sure that this is not gonna rip apart or leak once we roll it out or put it on the pan. It is worth mentioning, you wanna do this whole process over a silicone mat. You wanna make sure your dough doesn't stick to the surface or tear. Now it's time to roll them out. We're gonna take your little rolling pin, any style rolling pin you have. If you don't have a rolling pin, go ahead and grab a glass. Anything will do, we're just gonna get them nice and flat, as thin as you can without ripping them. Um, there is a possibility that it might tear, but if it does, try your best to just piece it back together. So once it's nice and thin, we're gonna pick it up and put it on a screaming hot pan. It has to be very, very hot. And just to show you guys that everything on YouTube is not perfect, watch me mess up putting this naan on the pan. Of course, and it had to be the first one too. Like you always 
on your first one to be the best one, but whatever. Look at that, I flipped it after about three minutes and it's nice and crispy. I wish you could hear it. So you're gonna let it go for about three minutes on each side, then take it off the pan, plate it, and brush it with the cilantro garlic butter. And after your first one is done, it's just a matter of repeating the whole process again. You're gonna fill it, roll it, put it on the pan. Just in case you missed anything, you can watch me roll it again. You know what's funny? I actually saw on a TikTok video a comment that was left under the young lady's recipe. Someone said, is this naan or is it just an Indian pupusa? I started cracking up. If you know what a pupusa is, it is very, very similar to this. Um, it's something very typical in El Salvadorian food. Absolutely delicious. Please try pupusa if you ever have the chance. And also please try this cheesy naan. Totally worth it, worth the, the minimal effort because it's not even laborious. But if you have tried pupusas or naan or anything else you wanna share with me, leave it down in the comments below. You know they have a naan emoji, right? If you didn't know, now you know. So if you ever ate a naan before, drop a naan emoji. If you ate a pupusa before, drop the El Salvadorian flag. So that's it guys, when it's done, of course you have to top it off with a little bit more cilantro, the crowning jewel, and I had to take this baby outside so you can see it in its full glory. Mm. Only thing missing is like some butter chicken. And here we go, the glorious cheese pull we all know and love. I wish you knew how badly I burned my fingers trying to get this cheese pull. <laughs> It was worth every second of pain, I promise you. So that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around. And I promise I won't have another hiatus. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. Here to bring you content. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.